No. I'll bring you the results later in the show. Now joining me, uh, Florida Congressman Alan Grayson, who's not shy about his opinions. Um, so let me ask you this. The conservative propaganda seems to be working, Congressman. Um, but what's failing here? Is it the media? Is it the Democratic response? What is it? It's the failure to concentrate on things that matter in ordinary people's lives. We have 15 million people in this country who don't have a job. What is the Republican plan to help them? They don't have one. We have over 30 million people in this country who still can't see a doctor when they get sick. Why aren't we talking about that instead? The answer is that they don't want to talk about that because they have no way to help them. They tried to scare everyone in the country by saying the president was black. And that didn't work. He got elected anyway. So now they're moving on to saying the president's a Muslim. And believe me, if we got invaded by Mars tomorrow, the Republicans would claim that the president's Martian. But that doesn't solve anyone's problems. We have to work hard to solve the problems of ordinary people and rebuild the middle class in this country. Let's concentrate on that for a change. I swear to you that my next question was, if they accuse him of being a Martian, do you have to come out every <laughs> once in a while and say, the president is not Martian? <laughs> It's sad. Look, we, we really are cheating ourselves. This can be a heaven on earth. This could be an outstanding place to live, the very top in the entire world. Instead, we're 50th in the world, 50th in life expectancy, just below Albania. We are dead last in math test scores. And believe me, the math is the same in Seoul, Korea, as it is in here. It's the same math. We have to work harder to solve our problems, and we can't get distracted all the time by the people who want to distract us for their own selfish purposes. But if we're all going to talk about 9-11, why don't we talk about how not so much the people who died on 9-11 were disgraced by the possibility of an Islamic athletic center several blocks away. How about the fact that they were disgraced by a president who let it happen? who went on vacation for the entire month of August after he was warned in writing that Osama bin Laden was actually finding targets in New York City and, and learning about how to take these planes and do terrible things with them. The thing itself said hijacking and they did nothing about it. So you tell me, why does President Obama have to be drawn into this at this point when the Republicans let us down this way so terribly and got us into two wars to boot? I had a feeling you might say something interesting. Okay, and by the way, that memo also said they plan to attack uh, New York and possibly Washington. So, and if you remember, the guy who delivered that memo to him, the CIA guy, he said, all right, now you covered your ass, you can go home. Okay, that's what President Bush did when he got that memo about their possibility of attacking. And then promptly spent the entire month of August on vacation. So who really let down those people on 9-11? Was it Barack Obama? Was it the people who want to build some kind of health club in downtown New York? Or was it the President of the United States right then, George W. Bush? All right, Congressman, now, you point out that one of the strategies is, hey, let's talk about the real issues. And that's very fair. Unemployment is what 91% of Americans say they care most about when asked in a poll. But on the other hand, if you just leave these attacks lying out there, you see that they take hold. You know, a majority of Republicans think that Acorn stole the election for Obama. I mean, that's crazy talk. So how do you respond? Do you not say anything? Do you, do you fight back? What do you do? One of the fundamental problems is Fox. Okay, Fox has turned into Monty Python's lying circus. All day long they spew lies out, time after time, day after day, and they've created this bubble of irreality around the people who listen to them, and it's a threat to this country. It is a threat to this country that you have people listening to Fox day in and day out who are misinformed day in and day out and believe it. Because some of the people can be fooled some of the time, and Fox that proves that every single day. All right, Congressman Grayson, always an interesting interview. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, now let me tell you the real story of the man who.